All right, guys, we got it inside. Getting ready to put it up on the lift. I'm gonna show you the unboxing of what we're gonna be putting in it. This would be like a stage three performance package that we would put together. Or something like this. Go ahead and open it up. That should be the controller. Ooh. Oh yeah, never gets old. That's all it's in there? No, it's well dropped, you know. Now there's hundreds of install videos out there. I don't really want to do another one. But I will explain all the features of this. This thing is far advanced. It is awesome. When we get in it, I'll go over it. I'll do some settings on it. You need to upgrade your controller. Even if you didn't go with the whole package, this controller is awesome for lots and lots of reasons. If you got any questions, comment, ask. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions and help you. So we get a power cable. We get the harness adapter. This should be the plate inside there ah, on the fly allows you to change your speed your regenerative braking acceleration all on the fly you can lock it out set it to whatever you want no one can go any faster than you want them to go you can also do that all on the bluetooth app as well so this monster right here is the motor Huge, huge. What do you think the weight is on this? Well, uh, pretty heavy though. Do you want to make the sauce? Gotta do it right. Can we pull that motor out of this one? We'll show you. And then guys are also backing up with uh, 72 volt ally batteries, just straight raw power. Ally does a great job of packaging their batteries. These can be drop shipped to you. Mm -hmm. Pretty much just right, right at home. This is a direct replacement, 72 amp, 18 amp hours. So, something on this recommended setup, guys, would be six. We have four currently here. Hoping that the other two come in before we gotta take off, which will be about noon on Friday. Yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna tear it down and get, get into it, and uh, we will shoot some more videos throughout. Stay Good. So to get this out, we're gonna simply remove this, remove this, remove this, remove this. We're gonna drop this rear end out. We're gonna go ahead and pull this DC motor. And you can see the size difference almost in here, but we'll put them on the bench side by side. Our controller's already out, so we're gonna go ahead and just break our wires out and pull this motor out. Shouldn't take very long. Look how you can think we should wrap it. I'm 
then you got this lift. Wow, it's just super loose on those, huh? What's that? Those seems just super loose. No, that one's the wrong size. Huh? What size what you need? 10. Uh, I'll put the board on. I'll go over there and do the board. And then yank these batteries out. Gotta be super careful when you're working on these guys. I think anything was connected. Alright. The fun part is, they give you a plate, it doesn't mount up anywhere. You gotta make your own plate. And luckily, we're not using the OBC anymore, so we're just gonna pull it. This is solenoid. Full solenoid. New solenoid. Onboard computer, which we can ditch because we are running 72 allies. Now, We've got the controller all mounted up to the plate. 